Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting coding and doing question video. This time guys, we are going to solve question number 292 NIM game of lead code. Before I start with the video guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. Let's get started with the problem statement now. So the problem statement says that we are basically playing a game called the NIM game. And basically we are given a a number n which is a heap of stones on the table me and my friend are playing a game in which we are both taking alternate turns and i'm gonna go first okay so basically i'm the person who goes first on the turn and on my turn or on any uh, person's turn that person can remove stones from one to three from the heap so for example if the heap is having value four that means if we are having four stones and i go first then on my turn i can either remove one stone two stone or three stones and then the person who removes the last stone is the winner so given the n is the number of stones i have to return true if i can win the game assuming that both me and my friend have equal chances of winning and if i don't win the game then you they have then i have to return false okay now let's see at this example here so if n is equals to four four that means i have got four stones in my heap these are the possible outcomes so for example if i uh, first remove only one stone then my friend can come and remove three stones at a time and if i first uh, if i uh, remove uh, first two stones then my friend can go in the next turn and remove two uh, remaining stones so in that case also my friend will win and if i remove three stones then also in the end my friend is going to remove the last stone and he is gonna win so in all the outcomes if n is equals to four then my friend wins whereas if n is equals to one two or three then I, I have all the chances to win because if n equals to 1, then I am obviously removing the last stone. If n equals to 2, then I can remove 2 stones at a time. If n is equals to 3, then I can remove 3 stones at a time, thereby removing the last stone. Okay. So the constraints here are also pretty straightforward, guys, that n is lying from 1 to 2 to the power 31 minus 1. Let's go to the solution part. So from these examples, it is pretty clear, guys, that the solution to this problem is a small mathematical hack, which is that if n is 4, for example, if n is 4 or if n is a multiple of 4, then there is no way I can win if I am going first. Always my friend is going to win, right? Because no matter if I first remove 1 stone, 2 stone or 3 stones, always my friend is going to win in the end so that's why the solution to this problem is a small one line thing that if n is divisible by 4 then always return false because my friend is going to win otherwise i am going to win, uh, win so return true let's run this code guys let's see if this works or not with all the other example cases and i'm gonna submit it now and you will see that the submission also passes now. So there you go guys. That was the solution for this problem. Obviously if I talk about the time complexity. It is order of 1 for both time and for space. Because we are not using any extra space. Nor we are using any loops here. Uh, so that was the video guys. I hope you guys liked the solution. And I hope your coding practice became a little bit better. If it has guys then please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell icon for video notifications. Uh, do hit the like button and share this video with your friends as well and uh, thank you so much for watching guys leave uh, in the comment section anything you want to say to me all feedback is welcome and in the end guys uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care and bye bye